welcome back friends so today i am with another open elective subject that is the non conventional energy sources it is subject code is 18me651 it is the mechanical subject so my dear friends it is also a problematic subject some problems are there in the certain modules but don't worry friends uh, in this video i will discuss some important questions which are uh, based on the theory only you can easily conquer this subject with the theory part if you just focus in this uh, one day and uh, one night are left now probably so my dear friends in the module first just focus on this super important question that is with need sketch explain perihelometer it is a very important question in the module first and with the need sketch explain sunshine recorder and uh, some defini definitions are there like a comparison between conventional and non conventional energy resources advantages and disadvantages and also one important question from this module is a hydro power plant just focus on this much theory uh, theory content you can easily score you can easily at least get uh, 10 to 12 marks in this particular module first by theory only uh, if uh, in the uh, module first uh, suppose they will also give 20 marks sometimes like uh, these two questions will come together uh, explain perihelometer and sunshine recorder in the module second my dear friends one super important question is also their definitions only one is the solar latitude declination angle zenith angle and hour angle and surface azimuth angle this is the most important question in the module second go through this theory content you can easily score 10 mark 10 to 12 marks for this definition part over here then working principle of solar pond it is also an important question in this module and sometimes numericals uh, will be asked in the examination but uh, you just skip uh, the numerical part if it is convenient for you people just go through numerical part otherwise uh, unless uh, you can uh, go through the theory content only okay and uh, also with need sketch explain any two types of concentrate concentrating collectors and its advantages and disadvantages and sometimes sensible heat storage and latent heat storage these are the energy storages you have to go through this is also an important part in this particular module sensible heat storage and latent heat storage it is asked uh, mo most times in the video examination then in the module third uh, important question is explain the working principle of photovoltaic energy conversion and also the parameters affecting the performance of the collector these two are the most important question in this uh, module third my dear friend just focus on this particular type of uh, theory over here in this module third and also in the module third there are characteristics and application of this uh, photovoltaic conversion and application of solar cell for traffic lightning with a circuit circuit diagram and collector efficiency factor and collector flow factor this is the content for the module third you have to focus on this particular part over here uh, as you know already the vast syllabus in this uh, particular subject is over there so just focus only uh, this much part so that you can easily score you can easily pass this subject then module four comes up types of windmills are there with explanation you have to uh, what we call to explain the windmills over there uh, most important part is the horizontal axis windmill with the need sketch they may ask you with the need sketch draw the horizontal axis uh, axis windmill with the explanation over there and also classifications of windmills uh, is the important question in this module advantages disadvantages and applications of the wind energy you can easily score 20 marks in this module 4 my dear friends by covering this much part or you can go through the R part in the R part there are tidal power plant uh, with its operation over there you have to explain the tidal power plant and advantages disadvantages of tidal plants and advantage of vertical axis wind machines over horizontal wind machines this is the important question from this R part over here in the module fourth so it is your uh, choice uh, which you choose in this particular module I just uh, prefer you people just to go through the first part that is the windmill part horizontal axis windmill is the definite question over there they may ask this time also hope so so in the module fifth geothermal energy system by hot dry rock hdr so you have to explain this geothermal energy system and its advantages disadvantages for geothermal system various sources of geothermal energy it as you know already module fifth consists of three chapters over there so go through the geothermal energy system part so that it will be easy for you people or just go through uh, the biomass theory in the r part so there are some uh, hydrogen concepts and biomass theory concept i prefer you just to go through this uh, geothermal energy system it is very important one and it will definitely come over there and its advantages disadvantages for geothermal uh, this system okay friends so this was the content uh, for the particular subject that is a mechanical subject which is also called the non-conventional energy sources it is a mechanical subject so go through this much content so that you can easily conquer this subject so thank you for watching this video my dear friends